Hello everyone, the big IPL auction is finally over, a big mega two-day event that took place on the 27th and 28th January, Sheila alongside me, I mean it was an, a fantastic uh, event, spectacle, huge spectacle, Chris Gale coming and going and then finally getting sold to Kings 11 Punjab. So here are the six talking points from the event. The first point is Chris Gale. Uh, just the fourth player on day one of the IPL auction and he was unsold. Imagine the big hitting Chris Gale goes unsold. He came back on the second day and we had still had no takers. It was just the third time when he came in, did uh, Kings 11 for job bid for him at his base price of rupees 2 crore and there were no other takers so they have him. Uh, Preeti Zinta, we saw her uh, mouthing a little, we love him. <laughs> yeah. So Chris Gale uh, in the third time uh, went to Kings 11 for job for when talking about the big buys from the IPL auction this time, Ben Stokes again stealing the thunder. He <laughs> was the right. biggest buy in the last season as well. You know, going to Rising Pune Super Giant. This time he goes to Rajasthan Royals for 12.5 crore. And I'm sure Steve Smith had a little bit to do something yeah. with Ben Stokes yeah. uh, coming to Rajasthan Royals. And the other big buys were Jaydev Nutkart, you know, yeah. going for 11.5 crore to Rajasthan Royals again. He picked up a hat trick. Oh, for Ra Rising Pune Super Giant last time, Steve Smith was the captain there. So again, Steve Smith <laughs> <laughs> sending WhatsApp messages <laughs> yeah. to, to the owners, get them here. And Manish Pandey was a little surprising, I thought, because he had an average year for for India yeah. in, in in the last year, but he had a great IPL for KKR. So Manish Pandey going for eleven crore seemed a little surprising, but that's how it is. The third point were the players that we expected would go for one much higher amounts but ended up uh, going for way less. So we had uh, Quinton Dickoff, one of the best wicket keepers right now. We, he came in at a base price of 2 crore but went for just 2.8 crore uh, which was uh, very surprising. Then we had Imran Tahir who last year was unsold but then came back uh, as a replacement for an injured mishmash. Uh, he came back and he picked up some 18 wickets in 12 matches. So this time around people had expected him to, uh, you know, like be like attacked a bidding war but that didn't happen uh, he was picked up for his base price of uh, just one crore and the last one i would say in that uh, was um fab duplessis south africa's captain going for just 1.6 crore so yeah those were the three uh, players and many more that we thought were the steals the big unsold players which were really surprising lasit malinga Actually, there was a big media and a media house. I won't name the media house. They actually named Lasit Malinga as the most uh, experienced and the most valuable IPL player in the last 10 years. They had a full rating. Uh, so Lasit Malinga going unsold was a little surprising, but not that much because he hasn't been at his best. He played the Bangladesh Premier League last month. He hasn't been at the best of his form and he hasn't been playing well for Sri Lanka. So not surprising, not that surprising, but a big player going unsold there. But the other thing was Sean Marsh going unsold was a big, big shock to me at least because he has been the backbone of the Kings Eleven Punjab and when Sean, Marsh came, uh, Sean Marsh's name came up twice, I, I, I was looking at the Kings Eleven table and the faces were like, no, 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 we don't want him, we don't want him. <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, I didn't understand what was going on there. And James Faulkner. You know, James Faulkner is is that kind of an all rounder. He's not a Ben Stokes or you know someone like uh, someone like the old Irfan Pathan or someone like a Hardik Pandya. But he's also a very handy all rounder. He will get you runs down the order. He will get you wickets. You know, to break partnerships. James Faulkner is that kind of a player. But unfortunately, he doesn't get a team. And then there was 17 year old Sandeep Lamichane who became <laughs> the first cricketer from Nepal to land an IPL contract. Uh, Delhi Daredevils uh, picked up the young cricketer uh, for his base price of just 20 lakhs. But let's see, he has uh, created ripples in the under 19 cricket scene. He had a great uh, year at the World Cup last time. And in fact, he was spotted by Michael Clark, former Australia captain, who called him over for the Hong Kong Blitz uh, T20 Championship and actually honed his skills. So he's one to look, look out for. And the last talking point are our under-19 stars who have been doing really well in the under-19 World Cup. They will, they'll be playing the semi-final on Tuesday against Pakistan, which is a big game. Prithvi Shaw, the captain who has been doing really well in the first-class 
season but he hasn't played a single professional t20 yet but still he got a contract of rupees 1.2 crore with uh, delhi daredevils but the other big surprises were kamlesh nagar koti and shivam mavi these two upcoming rising fast bowlers got a contract with kkr for rupees 3 crore and above you know nagar koti stole that contract of rupees 3.2 crore so these fast bowlers eden gardens the eden gardens pitch has changed from a spinning track to a fast bowling track now so i guess they want to groom fast bowlers and nagar koti and shivam mavi will have a great time at the eden gardens well uh, shrida these were the uh, highlights of the two big days and you will find all of these stories and much more on the quints uh, sports page so head on there and see all these stories